The Dalek casing features two primary mechanical limbs that Daleks use to interact with their environment, a manipulator for gripping and lifting things, and the gun stick for exterminating. But given the huge range of Dalek ships and structures that we have seen in Doctor Who, it makes sense to ask. How do Daleks build things? While we have seen examples of automated Dalek production lines in the past, which could explain how Dalek casings and ships are mass produced, how were the Daleks able to build the production lines in the first place? Do they synthesize materials using advanced 3D printing? Do they build structures using nanobots? Does the Dalek mutant open the casing to grab a hammer and nail gun with its tentacles? Well, we're not entirely sure, but there are three confirmed ways in which Daleks can build things that we have seen in the show. And while these may not be the only ways in which Daleks can construct things, they do appear to be the primary means by which Dalek ships, buildings and materials are created. Number 1. Specialised Dalek Variants There are a significant number of specialised Dalek variants that are adapted for different situations, and in the past we have seen Daleks replace their standard manipulation later on with specialised tools, such as a laser cutter, an injector, and even a buzzsaw. It is therefore highly likely that Daleks are capable of swapping out their plungers for other devices that can aid in the construction and repair of their ships and structures, though we are yet to actually see this ability used on screen. We do, however, see Daleks performing menial tasks such as manning production plants, carrying out waste disposal, and interfacing with computer systems, so it is very possible that worker Daleks fitted with specialised construction or repair tools are common in the lower levels of Dalek ships and cities. However, the Daleks have a preferred means of ensuring that menial labour is carried out. Number 2. Slave Labour Although the Daleks' ultimate aim is to exterminate all life in the universe, they enjoy capturing humanoids to use as slave labour, usually as miners, but also sometimes as standard workers. Many of the Dalek Empire's ships and settlements were likely built using slave labour, and Dalek camps were known to exist on Skara, as well as other planets they had conquered. The conditions in these camps were truly awful. Prisoners sent there were not expected to survive long. The Daleks' pragmatism and cruelty caused them to use their prisoners as labourers, extracting usefulness from them while simultaneously starving them to ensure that they provide service to the Dalek regime while suffering and dying in the process. We also see examples of Daleks using human labour in a more direct way. The Recon Scout and its clone both possessed the enhanced ability to hijack a human's body and control them like a puppeteer, which they could use to force the human to work for them either physically, using their body as a means by which the Dalek can build things, or by posing as the human and directing any amenities they may already have under their control to serve the Dalek cause. Number 3. Manned Drones When forced labour cannot be acquired, Daleks appear to design drones or vehicles that can do the work instead. In the background of certain shots from the Stolen Earth and Journey's End from Series 4, we can see that there are several multi-armed floating devices, which are either Daleks in specifically designed casings, Daleks in their standard casings driving modified hoverboats, or perhaps even robotic worker machines. Either way, these appear to be the means by which the Dalek Crucible and its fleet were constructed. It is possible that all Dalek ships have a complement of these things that can be used by the Daleks to perform repairs, manufacture new casings and technology, or construct outposts and cities on the planets that they conquer. Since these machines are designed for construction and repair, they are not often seen on the front line, and can only be found in the heart of Dalek operations. What do you think? Which of these three explanations for how Daleks construct things do you prefer? Are there any other means by which Daleks can build things that weren't mentioned in this video? Would you like to see more examples of how Daleks build things showcased in a future Doctor Who story? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to Dalek Bumps.